that the man destroyed Lagos and they are saying he built Lagos. That he destroyed Lagos and he destroyed him that he would never. In fact, he said all of them that are taxi drivers, that none of them will support him. That. So what I'm trying to say, number three thing I'll tell you that is shocking, I am in contact with one of the, uh, with the siblings of Peter B. And one day I called the brother, I say, what are we going to do so that this thing will work? You know what he told me? Peter is on his own, but we are forgiven him. Listen to what I'm trying to say. We are forgiven him. We will do whatever we can. Let us. I said, what do you mean? He said, do you know that Peter was governor for eight years? And he never gave me a single contract. His own blood brother. And he came with contract papers several times. He said, young man, go and do your business. Have you been a contractor? Nobody from his village. Nobody. None of his relations. And nobody from his town. These are subtle things I personal interactions mm -hmm. that made me say, no, this man is peculiar. And then when I hear him speak, I know he has integrity. I love, I have a flair for integrity. And the reason is because even right from school, I had formed a body which we call Daniel Generation. And that is a body that seeks to build leaders with integrity, impeccable character of integrity, to create leaders for the nation and for God. Let me put it that way. Number two thing I want to say, I believe in justice. See all the people talking? If you know any of them who says he's godly, whether a Christian or Muslim, ask him, do you believe that God is a God of justice? Is God a God of justice? Go through your scripture. I read this Quran. I read the Bible. I read the holy books. I studied them. And I found out that if you do not have justice, you have no business with God. So if you're a pastor and you are contesting an election in a different region, I need you to go back and study the scripture and know the God that you serve. If you are a leader, a religious leader in any other religion, study the God that you're serving 